students assalamu alaikum i welcome you in another lecture video of taylor series in the previous video we discussed that the next question which we are going to take will be a kind of question that comes in your paper and also uh, a question uh, in which we will have proper condition so you can see here we have proper condition that we have to find y at x equals to 0.1 and correct up to 4 decimal. Okay students, so let's start solving this question. I already have written that what things are given to us, sorry, uh, I have written it with a pencil. So you can see what we have given, we have given the first derivative, the value of x0 and the value of y0. So I have written all these things here. Okay students, now what we have to do, if we see the formula, here is the formula. If we see the formula, we see that we need the derivatives of y. So what will be our next step? Our next step will be to find the derivatives of y. So, do a partition first, like this, now we have to find the derivatives of y, so we already have given the first derivative that is 3x plus y squared. What we have to do now is we have to find out the value of this y1 by substituting the values of this x and y. It, this x and y is basically x0 and y0. And we have to derivate uh, this given y up to 4 non-zero values of y. Right students? So we have y1 equals to now we are going to find out the value of this y1. So this is 3, the value of x0 is 0 and y0 is 1. Substitute these values here, 0 plus 1 plus square. So we will get the y1 equals to 1. Right, students, now we have to derivate. This is our first non-zero value, okay, students? And we have to find four non-zero values. So we have to derivate this again. The second derivative will be the derivative of 3x is 3 plus the derivative of y squared is 2y and then derivative of y. Right students? So now we have to find out the value of this second derivative that is 3 plus 2. This is y0. The value of y0 is 1 and the value of first derivative of y that is also 1. So now the value of second derivative of y will be 5. This is our second non-zero value. Now we have to find the third derivative of y. So the derivative of 3 will be 0. I am not going to write it. Plus take this 2 out and then here we will open u into v formula. So this y is our u and the first derivative of y is our v. So what is the formula? The formula is u as it is the derivative of v. That will be second derivative plus v as it is the derivative of u. Right students? So if we find out the value of third derivative of y that will be 2 y0 and then second derivative of y. What is the value of y0? That is 1. The second this is 5 plus uh, can I write it like this 2 times of y ke first derivative value it's 1 so the answer will be 12 right students now this is my third non-zero value what I have to do is I have to find the fourth derivative of y so what will be my fourth derivative right to as it is i have to open the formula of u into v on this and also on this right students so this is our u this is our v what is the formula the formula is u as it is derivative of v plus v as it is the derivative of u plus u as it is the derivative of v 
plus v as it is the derivative of u you can also write two times of y1 into y2 because the derivative of these two will be same okay so we can write y4 equals to now we are going to find out the value of this y4 what we have to do is we have to substitute the values so 2 y0 and then y the value of third derivative of y so y0 is our 1 we have and the third derivative value is 12 plus second derivative the value of second derivative is 5 and first derivative value is 1 so substitute these values over here 5 1 plus now i'm going to write it two times of because these two terms are same okay student two times of y the value of first derivative of y and the value of second derivative of y so the value of first derivative of y is 1 and the second derivative value is 5 right students so my answer will be the fourth derivative answer will be 54 so now i have got four non-zero values of derivatives of y now i have to put these values in the formula so what is the formula the formula is y of x equals to y of x naught plus x minus x naught x minus x naught the derivative of first derivative in terms of x naught plus x minus x naught square upon second factorial and y ka second derivative in terms of x naught plus x minus x naught cube upon 3 factorial y third derivative of y in terms of x naught plus x minus x naught upon uh, fourth and y ka fourth derivative in terms of x naught plus so on this is my formula okay students uh okay now the value of x naught is zero right students so i am not going to put this value the zero here uh, or else what will happen my one step uh, i have to do one more step okay so i can simplify this formula like x and then first derivative of y in terms of x naught plus x square upon 2 factorial and then second derivative of y in terms of x naught and so on so now the next step will be to put the values y of x equals the value of y of x naught is this is our y of x naught right that is 1 1 plus x this x is as it is and the first derivative value that is 1 right plus write it like x square upon 2 factorial we will not substitute the value of uh, x uh, while writing this equation okay Although we have the value of x that is 0.1 but we will not substitute the value uh, at this moment. We will substitute the value in the end last step. And the value of second derivative is 5. Plus x cube upon 3 factorial. x cube upon 3 factorial. और ये इसकी वैल्यू क्या है हमारे पास 12 प्लस x4 अपॉन 4 फैक्टोरियल एंड देन द वैल्यू ऑफ फोर्थ डेरिवेटिव इज 54 प्लस सो ऑन नाउ सिंपलीफाई दिस इक्वेशन सो द सिंपलीफाइड फॉर्म इज ऑफ आवर इक्वेशन विल बी 1 प्लस x प्लस द आंसर ऑफ 5 अपॉन 2 फैक्टोरियल इज 5 अपॉन 2 and then x square plus the answer of 12 upon 3 factorial is 2 and then x cube this x cube and then plus the answer of 54 upon 4 factorial is 9 upon 4 and then x to the power of 4 is plus so on now the question this is my equation final equation now i had to the question was also find y at x equals to 0.1 and correct to four decimal 
Now my next step will be in this equation wherever I have x I will substitute point 1. So my equation will become 1 plus point 0.1 plus 5 upon 2 point 0.1 square plus 2 into point 0.1 cube plus 9 upon 4 into point 0.1 to the power 4. So the answer will be 1.127225 but I have to round 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 off it up to four decimal places so what will i do one two three four i will round it off so the answer will be 1.1272 that will be my final answer i hope uh, this question is clear to you and if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section students thank you